Perfectly. I mean, it's it's beyond any dream I ever had. Uh, I mean, I had no success dream about the book, but it certainly is. Of course, once you have been a bestseller, you see in hardcover, you expect it's got to continue. I mean, it's, you get used to it very easily. How's very it quickly. doing in paperback? Terrific. Is it? Terrific, yes. I've been num uh, number one. I go from one to four and then back to one again, and I don't understand how it works. Paperback's totally different, you see, because fiction and nonfiction are mixed together. In the book, you are so candid about your relationships with Humphrey Bogart and Jason Robards. Do you ever regret having been so candid, all the prodding and the questioning about your personal life? How do you feel about it now in retrospect? No, I don't think I could be any other way but honest and open because it just is the way I am and I'm stuck with it. I mean, it gets in my way a lot too. As I'm sure you must realize when you, you know, you open your mouth too much, it's, <laughs> your foot is bound to work its way in once in a while. Uh, but I, um, but I love that about you. I've got to say this because you're not afraid to say what you think, and don't it's delightful. And I just go blundering through. Well, yeah, but I get the feeling that you don't build all these walls and, and weigh every word that you say. No, you are no, just I'm not careful. An honest no, uh, Well, I don't believe in being careful about anything in life, uh, except crossing the street. <laughs> Heard a delicious rumor yeah. about you. Are you and James Garner an item? Not that I know of. You know? <laughs> I think I'd know. Don't you think I'd know? I think you'd He's know. He's very tall. Is he a good friend? <laughs> Is that where that comes from, that rumor? Is he just a yeah. good friend? I think the rumor just comes from, that, from someone's idea that because he has separated from his wife and because we work together, it seems a natural... I mean, they really... Are, they just don't have enough to write about those people, <laughs> write all this Is stuff. Is that it? You know, the Inquirer and all the rest of those. Lauren, do you think you'll do a sequel to the book? Do you remember on the Phil Donahue show, a viewer, uh, someone in the audience asked you the question, would you do a sequel? Do you remember what your response was? Well, well I've all, you mean about the title? Uh-huh. Yeah, still by myself. <laughs> 1982, 1992. Yes, right, still for by the myself. 80s, yes. Do you think you will write a sequel? Oh, I don't think I'll write a sequel. I don't think I can do that much in <laughs> short enough <laughs> span of time. Uh, I think I'd probably like to try to write something again, but certainly not now, not for a while. I really want to, I really want to concentrate on my, my true profession, which is acting. I'm thrilled with the success of the book, and I, I'm thrilled that I did it, and I'm thrilled. I feel that it's an achievement. I definitely, I'm very proud of having completed it. Um, but I. Uh, I mean, that's not all I want to do in my life, is right. It's satisfying and I, and I don't journalistically know. now. For well, now. No, I, I don't know. I just don't know if I would be able to write fiction, you see. And I don't know. I would have to live an awful lot of, of life in order to, to write the second chapter of it. There are folks that have referred to you as a tough cookie. Does that bother you? But yes, it does bother me. It bothers me because it isn't true. And it bothers me because I think judgments are made too quickly by people for superficial reasons and not because of, uh, I mean, uh, and clearly I think that's one of, the, one of the problems with Ted Kennedy as well. I mean, I think that he, they, you know, when, when, when Ted is, uh, they say, oh, he's a Kennedy, so he expects this and expects that. The Kennedys, uh, I think, I think the one thing that he would hope for is that he could live out his life, which Mm -hmm. his brothers were deprived of. Yes. So it doesn't seem to me that, uh, you know, those judgments are fair. I don't think anyone has the right to say, just by looking at you, that you are like this, that, or the other, you know. No, I, I get uh, the feeling, though, that you're a strong, hard-working lady. And maybe you were when that was I am not so emotionally popular. strong, but I am strong-willed. And I, I mean, I believe what I believe, and I'll fight for that. But In reading I, about you, I read a quote where you said, every time I get emotional, I tremble. So there is that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Here, have some coffee. <laughs> I shake a lot, so I'll otherwise. Well, <laughs> I love talking to you. I really mean it. Thank I you. hope you'll come back and do a good day again, uh, Lauren. Maybe I, when I, you're... After Teddy gets elected? After Teddy, yes. okay. Uh, we get him the nomination. He better win Massachusetts. Everyone get to work. Come on. He's lucky to have you on, on, on his side. No, he isn't. I think we're lucky to have him. <laughs>